So we're going to get underway here. Hidden City. We have the boys of Odin's Legion fighting up against the Kebabs. Kebabs are taking a 1-0 lead so far into the series after their first attack win. Um, now we just got to wait and see what's happening here next. Who goes on to win this one. Guys, welcome to this channel as well, guys. If you've never been here before, welcome, welcome. Thank you for coming in and joining the stream. Um... I really hope you're uh, you're here really long enough, and if you do, hit that uh, hit that good. Uh... <laughs> I look worse than normal. Thank you very much, Coffee. How do I add points? Well, when I wish to vote. Uh, so when you get the opportunity to vote, Happy B, there should be a little bit where it gets you to say add custom amount, and there's a little drawn pen bit down beside the the voting side of things, and then you can just add however many you want and how many channel points you've got. The channel points you get by watching the streams. If you're in stream, you'll start gaining channel points and you can use them to vote. And then you get, if you win, you get even more bot back. So let's see what you've got here. On the attack here for Ruffles, guys, we have grey hairs. You've got some uh, jabs in here as well. You've got plenty of Cataflax, Iron Reapers as well. We've got Claymores, uh, IVGs, ISGs, and then on the defense, similar vibes. You've got some Lanch Necks. You've got some Halberdier Sergeants in there. You've got some Cataphracts as well. Is this going to be a Sally? There's a couple of units of cavalry here. Rudy for the side of Kebabs. They look... Okay, so here we go. We are Sun... Well, I was going to say Sun City now. Hidden City. <laughs> Hidden City. Are we going to see a Sally out here? Have we got runes on? Let's make sure we don't have runes on, first of all. No runes. We are good. And then we can get out into the... Out of the, to the open world here. Are we going to see a Sally out? Ruffles boys are all down the other side. They're not even at the front gate here. They all go in one side. They're all going to the really short side here on the wall. Something completely different. The guys are coming to Sally out. They're going to look out here and see nothing. No siege towers moving. Dover's going to stay there. All the guys are going to wait to have a look. And they're sending units up as quickly as they can. Up onto this wall here. Knowing fine well. That's exactly what was going to happen here from Kebabs. So what Ruffles boys are doing and Ragnarok and Odin's guys are all up onto the wall all of a sudden looking around, getting their units up onto the wall and protecting that area so that they can't be carved out on. The units have all went back inside though realising that there is no Sally out available, we can't do it, there's nothing there unit wise. We will just say uh, there's just no point. So they've all come back into the gates here to stop the Sally out, but they've all left the walls as well. So now you'll get a free A take once again, just like it was prior to that before, and now they're going to swap out all their cavalry. So it was a very good deterrent. It makes them have to go up onto the wall, but it also means that none of the siege towers have made it to the wall. So this first push, you'll get you'll get A, right? But you will have uh, no no easy access to the top of the wall very quickly. The one siege tower is moving. Now we've got two siege towers moving. So they will eventually get there. And some heroes are staying up on the wall here. Just But that's not going to do enough damage to take out the siege tower. So it's pretty pointless. But A will get taken. Ragnarok's taking that for free along with Magic and Sinju will join in. Barbar's just having a, a, a look around here. Yen, Jewelblade, having a bit of fun. Just scouting around the top of the wall, watching the heroes. Just making sure what is going on. The gate is still open as well, as you can see. So they've just got units inside here, kebabs. Watching, scanning, having a look to see what is there on the outskirts. Battering round was taken out and that'll be why. That makes complete sense. They managed to get it pushed and then all of a sudden they opened the gate so they took everything off of it. Then the siege, they could just uh, shut the gate for a free here. There's fights going on and Ragnarok is the first to die. He got overextended here. Yen the dual blade takes full advantage of that. Ragnarok, I don't know what he was thinking. I don't know what he was trying to do. But Yen the dual blade will always take full advantage of you coming away from your... Uh, 
your men and your uh, your defensive structure. I don't know why you <laughs> why you'd get yourself caught up with that. Um, especially when four heroes came up there really really quickly from the kebab side to do, to get the defense there. But one hero down. Um, so far, they have wall control, but there's no artillery use, so you can't really do anything with the wall control unless you have things like javelins. You've got Senji grenadiers. Um, or you had Psychalia uh, Militia, for example. These are the only times you can kind of take advantage of these walls. The Javelins are trying to do it to the guys in the supply point. Um, but obviously with Senji Grenadiers, we don't have them. They're not available. This is the banned one. But Psychalia Militia, good on this wall here. Where Mist is currently with his musket thrown over the bombs, doing what he can. Um, obviously, some players don't want that happening. So Leon Kerr jumps up and smacks Mist a lot of few times with his... Uh, He's Captain America, throw shield, and then now they're just they're just waiting their time. We have ten minutes to grab B, and it's all about finding that prime opportunity here from Oda's Legion. Just getting all their units to the top of the uh, siege tower. Make sure they've got everything they need. They've got Zykilla militia now at the top of that stairwell ready. Uh, they put them inside the ISGs as well, it's just just to hide them a little bit as well. So they're in there, hidden, hidden away, waiting. It's magic. So all the way up here, Yen is looking for them. The dual blade is going away to go and try and pick off kills. That's exactly what Yen is here for. He's like, Nana, Nana, you overextend that kill. Overextend and I kill you. Right, let's see where we're at here now then. So far, not really been a push, not been any battle here so far. We've used one trip so far, nothing major because it was just towards the gateway, just in case the Sal layout had actually any means to it and it might have hit them, but nothing was really damaged with it. A few units have been have been picked off here and there. Just just little units though, like little um, small amount of numbers. We've not lost a grand scheme of things for any of these pushes yet so far. But now, they start to mount their movement. Orin's Legion start to make their way down the right hand side here. Get managing to make the kebabs guys having to rotate their units around. We have some j Jav Cab, we have some uh, banner guards that is down there. And there we go, kebabs start to make their defense. Magic and Mist is shooting up from behind with their javelins here. And using their musket to do damage in the back of the side of kebabs here as Odin's Legion have managed to make the self and get a wee foothold at the bottom of the here. Now we're getting pinched from three different directions though. The calf comes in but it is stopped pretty quickly here. You've got Flare Star going in and annoying people with the pike here and it's all about the hero kills here now. So Lucas Show is the first one to go down. All of a sudden they are losing heroes really quickly. FDS Light and Adam fall quite quickly afterwards. Ragnarok. But then there's a couple of hero fights back. Sexy Blue or Sexy Belly fall to their death. He actually is back. We're a 13 versus 10 here. There's a calf charge incoming, but it sounded like it instantly got deaded. Uh, Iron Reapers have started fighting up the wall here, taking out all the javelin sergeants here. And Miss is trying to take Kebab out of this and stop him for as much as possible. But Odin's Legion are down to seven heroes on that push. A lot of the heroes are getting wiped out. Ruffle, Shangli and Komi Hedro, Senshi, all trying to fight on that supply point. Whittle down the units and try to stop them from taking any more units out. Lucas Shell comes in really quickly here. FDS Light is going to have Cav as well. How, it's going to be a Cavy Cav battle here. Who's going to win out right here? So far, so far it looks like the guys from Kebabs are surviving here. They're fighting on that supply point still. They still have a unit on it, so it's going to be difficult. For the grand scheme of things. There is no cap on B yet. We've not even made the way to B, but the fight is full on going for the whole uh, the whole supply point there, their supply point over the right hand side. Ragnarok has a wee scan to check to see what was on B there, but nothing really capped there whatsoever. He is now getting his units though and the uh, Makusha is the one in the background. Mishu Mashuta Mashuka? It's going to watch that. Comes around with calf here. You've got Lama the Brave as well. Wait to come around in that. Well, the supply point from Orange Legion is now being capped. They are eventually capping it. Odin's Legion is down to 10 heroes alive. 14 versus 10. Ragnarok's going to get hit by two heroes here. He might fall to his death as a calf charge comes through him. But then, if they guys on the supply point get them hit two hero kills here as well, they're at their number advantage once again. Yen falls to his death there. Sexy Kray is dead as well. We've got Sexy Gurai dead. 
he actually falls as well. Yen picks up that kill. But we're still capped the supply point. We've capped a little bit of B point. We have six minutes left, and so far we're at 663 units versus 716 units on the attack of Odin's Legion. They have got the number advantage. Hero advantage they had for a little bit as well. As the pushes were coming in, they were killing them quicker than they were getting killed, which is always a win-win situation. You'll never be disappointed if you're outright killing them more than you're killing them. Or they're killing you. Port Basho are set up. A cab charge comes in and it was probably about a second too early there. A second. But there's the cab charge through in. Everybody heroes are all getting wiped out here so far. They're down to 13. 12. Make that 12 men available. Odin's Legion are calf and B. They're not going to go and defend B here now. Surely not. The Flamers are coming in. Here comes another cab charge of cataphracts coming through. But they are stopped pretty quickly. A few of them are managing to make their way around it. But the push from Ke Kebab. The Flamers, Fort Abrasho, RPGs are starting to do some work here. They're slowly whittling them down. They're starting to catch up. Now they're in their lead with the unit kills and hero kills at the moment. Order's Legion down to 8 on the attack here. Flamers doing work. They're stopping the pushes. Kebabs managed to get the rotation of units on the point. Dover and Sexy Grey just fighting for their lives against each other. Short sword be short sword. But it's a double hero advantage here in the side of the defenders as the trap does come in on the point. We're going to zoom out a little bit to see what the grand scheme of things is. Most of the fights on the supply point have been done, but Sexy Grey is just going to go be a nuisance on the supply point. They'll actually be able to cap that supply point back. Because all, but well, most of the Odin's Legion boys are going to have to reset. Ruffle was picked up by Yen. Yen must be on a good amount of hero kills now. He is combo breaker. A couple of shot other ranks here from Sexy Kebab and Sexy Leon. Odin's Legion are coming through the main gate now. What do they do here? What is their choice of positioning here? Where are they going to go? As you can see, the rotation of units, infantry, plenty of infantry on the side of kebabs here. There is a few units of cav running about, little units of uh, the little amount left that they've got of their cataphracts, um, just roaming around as much as possible. Treb is going to income in. A lot of that treb is going to hit walls, but for a wee bit of it, there may be some unit damage. Yep, most of it does hit the wall. Odin's had a really good push here, but this is going to be a last push. This is going to be the last chance. 3 minutes, 25 seconds. They are both down to 370 units there or thereabouts. 11 trebs available for the attack inside Odin's. Odin's leading. You buckle down here now. You have an opportunity. You have to go quick. You have to go quick, be quick, quick home. That's the only way. And there we go. Now is the opportunity coming in here. We're coming in from the left-hand side here. As they come on to the point, they're going to have to try and put Trebs down the center. But it's not going to deal much damage because of the walls and the buildings around it. The final push that might happen here is going to be on for B. If they get the hero kills advantage, they could push forward to the home point and cap the home point if they get B here. We've got two minutes left. Kebabs are doing a solid effort here in defense and wiping out heroes quicker. They are they are definitely at this advantage here now. The heroes are alive. It's 14 versus 8. Odin's Legion are dying far too quickly here and not going to be able to push properly with their units. The unit advantage difference is definitely the units that they had out. A lot more purples, a lot more solid defenders here from Kebabs. And they're starting to push the heroes out. Spencer, call me Hedro. One of the t two of the only ones available. Dove is trying to fight Yen on the on the the B point. Yen will just go invisible and avoid it for as long as possible. He is going to get picked up a wee bit here. Gets a little bit more capping on B. But Yen is just just a nuisance now here. He's just being a nuisance around Rui Shenshi, trying to be as much of a nuisance as possible. Doesn't pick up that kill though. He might now. Will Yen do it? Oh, it's Sexy Kree that comes up and picks up that, but Yen actually gets awarded the kill for Senshi. But that is it. 1 minute 28, there's a 108 units left, but there ain't enough for them to do anything here. Oda's Legion have lost this one. 
This is an outright kick W win for our boys, the kebabs. And now they're just going to use their traps. They have the eight of the traps available. They'll just do it. Just a hero battle now for uh, for the guys of Odin's. They don't have any units left. This, their units are wiped here now at this point. It's just Trebs and their heroes. And they'll just fight for the sake of fighting now here. They're just fighting, riding out, getting picked off here. And a lot of the heroes all fighting out for that. But Kebabs know what they're doing with their fights. They, they are picking off the heroes really quick, uh, quickly there and doing a really good effort at it. It was a good, strong fight. Odin's trying to take it as much as they could. Buck is just dancing up and down here. Will he get picked off here? He does, Buck is picked off. We're still going to try and cap B. They've got some units on it. They've got heroes on it, sorry. Not units, but they're fighting at B. Lots of people fighting at B. <laughs> Imagine they still go cap it. Imagine. And then just try to run at home here. Port Brasho coming in though to help deal with these damage and these heroes. Uh, and if that's it. Kebab wins this one. The Kebabs have done a solid effort. These guys been rotating pretty well and killing the heroes really really quickly. Lamb of the Brave with the six hero kills. You've got Sexy Herdell got nine hero kills. Where's Yen? Yen's only got seven actually so Sexy Herdell was was the top killer here uh, in this battle here. GG for that. That's a great fight guys. Um, MVP goes to Sexy Great. Four hero kills, 114 unit kills. And MVP on the side of the attack for Odin's. It's two hero kills, ten assists. Look at the Ruffle. Ruffle with ten hero kills. Ruffle you, you had You've got more kills than the majority of your team put together. That's that is a solid effort, Odin's. That's a solid effort. Ruffle from you as well. MVP. I you, you get my MVP. If you've ended on 69 unit kills, I mean you can't not give that MVP, right? That you, you're my MVP of the match. That's that's the way I'm seeing it. Post match analysis, you can see it here. It is definitely a unit kill thing we hear. Um Odin's Legion only killed twenty nine. Kebabs did kill one hundred and seventy seven. Uh, 1077. So it's it's it's, uh, it's uh, the hero. Sorry, 46. Sorry, what the fuck? Yeah, heroes killed a lot more. They're almost, almost, but not enough. Like this, there's we're, we're we're close fights at certain times, but when you start getting to that stage where your unit's gone and your heroes getting picked off, it's it's a it's a rough time for you. You can't really do anything. But that's a that's a GG for kebabs. They go on, they win the series. That is a two 0 win in their pocket. That's three.